Greetings and welcome to the latest episode of Preserve the 80s, a very special episode. And oh, I just realized I still have my Ed Gein hat on. I was out shoveling snow uh, before I came here. It's mostly raining where I am right now, but I live on the Metacomet Ridge, and kind of in a microclimate weather system. Uh, it could be raining downtown and a blizzard of snow on my house just uh, a mile away. But anyway, I come bearing very special and important news. The McRib is back. And not just in the normal, the McRib is back sense. Right now, even New England has it. Usually, when the McRib comes back, it's uh, pretty much in every region but here. I remember last year when they announced the McRib coming back, but coming back, I came to my local McDonald's and asked if it was here. And they said no, and it's never going to be. And that just, uh, that broke my heart. You need to let a guy down more gently than that. So, uh, it was like being jilted at the altar. It's... Well, uh, that slide of, that sliding view, uh, happened because my, uh, my phone holder slid down the dashboard. I hadn't realized about six minutes later, so I went pretty deeply into the video without realizing it. So now it's even more fortunate that I bought two McRibs because I already ate the first one. So now we can, I can recap what I shared earlier about the first McRib. The uh, first McRib video I made was back in 2010 at Sound, uh, Sound Computers, a former workplace of mine, which still exists to this day. It's actually where uh, the Wayback Fish Sandwich video was shot there in a different location. They were in a newer office by then. But it is run by the great Stephen Noon, who is a legend in Norwegian circles. And the video is shot by none other than Tyson Nolf, who is a... Uh, axolotl enthusiast and computer repair fellow as well. Well, here we are, uh, well, they did bring the McRib back in 2012, but, so this will be my first time having it since 2018. Let's let me give you a view of it. Let's look at this beauty. Cornmeal dusted bun. Kind of uh, almost subral sort of shape to it. See that delicious rib patty? The onions, pickles standing so proud, brave, and true. I almost don't want to eat it because it's just such a thing of beauty. I feel like destroying a work of art, but art was meant to be enjoyed. Uh, speaking of looking at things, I was uh, in a Zoom meeting for work a couple of days ago, and in the room I was in, I was right beneath a light, and I'm almost fully bald on top, as you can see, there's a very thin covering here, sort of like uh, that green rind you see in the Friendly's watermelon roll. It's just barely there, it's kind of there, but it's just kind of... Uh, struggling to exist, but for all intents and purposes, I am bald. And I remember in the mid-80s to early 90s, being a young kid in church, there were a lot of old guys there, many of whom were bald. And there were shiny bald guys and matte bald guys. I always hoped I would grow up to be a shiny bald guy. Our priest father, Hearn, was a shiny bald guy, and he was a very angry man but uh, he's a story for another day. We also had a shiny bald priest called named Father Loftus. I don't know why, but whenever he saw me, he called me Old Sausage. I don't really know what that was all about, but that was my priest-given nickname when I was eight. But I would look at the, at the bald guys and hope that I would grow up to be one of the shiny bald guys and not a matte bald guy. And 
in that zoom video I realized that's what happened because uh, the baldness is quite shiny on my scalp. Not many people can say that they got to become what they dreamed of being when they were a kid, but I sort of can. I remember one of the Matt bald guys was a guy who had the nickname Mile a Minute because he was arthritic and moved very slowly. He was, had to be in his 90s. At, at least he was a very old guy. I found the nickname comical at the time, but if there is such a thing as karma, it certainly came back to bite me because now I'm arthritic and not much faster than Mile a Minute. Well, I mean, he's dead now. I assume so I'm probably somewhat faster than he is, but I'm not much faster than he was when he was living. And he was a matte bald guy. He, there was no shine to his scalp. But uh, I'm really digressing here. It's time to get back to the point. Along with uh, the two McRibs, I also have some fries, which might be a bit cold now because uh, they've been sitting here so long due to the aborted first video attempt. And to mark the sweet occasion of the reunion between myself and the McRib, I bought an apple fritter, which is a new item at McDonald's. And as my hero Feature Man would say, let's get started. And that's Feature Man, not Future Man. Feature as in being featured. If you've never seen his YouTube channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe and watch it. He is uh, my personal hero and everything that I hope to one day be. Wow, every bit as good as I remember, and I kind of feel like I need a cigarette right now. It's just a uh, sandwich of untold beauty, and they're lucky in Germany. It's been on their menu since the 80s, they've never removed it. Brief history lesson. McRib was first test, test marketed in 1981 in the Milwaukee and Chicago areas. And they had a uh, alternative spicy McRib at the time too, which was a bit hotter. And that didn't last quite as long though. That incarnation does exist in certain markets in Asia. And some parts of, some regions of Germany have it, but not all of them. But all re regions of Germany have at least a typical McRib. You can also get beer at McDonald's in Germany, but uh, I've never been to Germany and will probably not ever have the money to go there, so that's not something I can experience for myself, but I can't experience this. The only problem with the McRib is that it is very messy, and you have to be resigned to the fact that you're going to be wearing it as much as you eat it. But the barbecue sauce stains on your coat, or your shirt, or your pants, or wherever they go. Those are your battle scars. Those are your purple hearts. And let me tell you, it's a battle worth fighting. And then we'll check the fries, see how cold they are. And 
my mother, God rest her soul, uh, she didn't like fries unless they were cold. I'll never understand that one. Uh, hopefully she's up there now enjoying some cold fries. But as for me, I like my fries hot. Stone cold. Well, thank you crappy phone stand for slipping down the dashboard and causing me to have cold fries. Cold fries are better than no fries, though. As I previously mentioned, I'm also trying out the new apple fritter today. This feature man might say it's the secret dessert. Well, it looks like the glaze covers the whole thing, so that, that's a good sign. I can see one apple piece up top right here. Maybe there are more inside. We'll find out. And indeed there are. They make excellent use of cinnamon in this. It's kind of uh, tunneled throughout the apple fritter. They build tunnels at McDonald's. And uh, it just really works the way they kind of layered it in here. This is absolutely delicious. Sometime in the 90s, I'm not exactly sure when. My guess would be around 95. No, it couldn't be 95. Uh, maybe it was 1996. Uh, McDonald's switched from having deep fried apple pies to the baked ones they have today. Um, I know it couldn't be 1995 because I remember being at a McDonald's just outside of Lake George, New York, and getting a deep fried version on August 19th, 1995. So we had the fried ones for at least that long. Burned myself pretty good that day, but it was worth it. But from what I hear, the baked pies, uh, they take longer to make, and the ovens they use for them take up a lot of space. So you can still get the deep fried versions at smaller units like in airports and in hospitals. Some hospitals have McDonald's inside of them. I hope I wind up in one because when I'm having my quadruple bypass surgery, which, as we all know, is an inevitable outcome with the lifestyle I live, I will uh, hopefully hopefully have a, a deep fried apple pie waiting for me when and if I wake up after surgery. And if that looks really grim, I'll get one before. And if they can't get one for me in time, hopefully... Uh, Instead of tying the tag to my toe, they can tie a deep fried apple pie. At least they'll know it's me. That's kind of morbid. But, uh, I'm just trying to tell you that I loved McDonald's deep fried apple pies and I wish we still had them universally instead of just in small, hard to find areas. But to sum things up, the McRib is back. And I don't know how long we're going to have it. So I would encourage all of you to head to McDonald's as soon as you possibly can to experience the splendor and uh, just capitalize on something that is a true gift. Farewell.